Hello everyone, this is Rusty Bradshaw. I'm going to provide a little information in this video about one of the organizations in the Sun City Peoria area uh, that provides some great services for people in the area. Um, I'll have uh, Nicole introduce herself and tell us what she does here. I'm Nicole Caligiuri and I am the office administrator here at Recorded Recreational Reading for the Blind. Okay, and Recorded Recreational Reading for the Blind has been around for 50 plus years. They have studios on uh, 99th Avenue on the east side, which is technically Peoria, and it's just north of Olive Avenue. And they have three studios here for recording. And uh, I will, uh, let Nicole talk to you about the services that are offered by Recorded Recreational Reading for the Blind. Thank you, Rusty. Um, well, we predominantly serve service the visually impaired of the valley. That includes uh, the West Valley and the East Valley. And we, as, as you mentioned, we have three recording studios here. And uh, our volunteer readers read uh, news segments, anything that you would read in the uh, newspaper, sports, entertainment, uh, food, uh, business, and they will record those segments in the recording booth. And then the director sits outside the booth and uh, tapes the recording. And uh, we then put all of those recordings on a cartridge and those cartridges get sent out weekly to our visually impaired subscribers. It's all free. Uh, it's free for us to uh, uh, send it to them and it's free for them to return it to us. Uh, you mentioned that the services for the talking news is free. Uh, so they're not subscribing to it. They're not purchasing it. Right. How does our RRB get their funding? from donations, strictly from donations from subscribers, from uh, or civic organizations like the Lions Club um, and, uh, and our volunteers. If any individuals want to donate, how do they do that? Well, you can uh, uh, send us a check to RRB. Some of our subscribers, when they return their cartridges, will put a, a, a dollar amount in the cart in the container when they send it back um, and uh, yeah we'll, we'll receive mostly checks and uh, cash and we also do have fundraisers so we have for example a cookbook that we have put together that was created by all of the different volunteers and friends of the volunteers and there's it's a beautiful uh, colored uh, spiral uh, recipe book and uh, on the bottom of the recipe uh, it'll say who uh, uh, contributed that and I have one of those cookbooks <laughs> and we have tried a couple things out of there and uh, interesting selection <laughs> um, tell me the phone number here in case somebody wants to call and get some information about donations or anything else it's 623-933-0985 Okay. And if you have any, if you need anything, you just ask for Nicole. All right. Um, now, the RRRB also has a radio station, is that correct? Yes, KRUV, which streams 24-7. Uh, uh, so it's, it's not FM or AM, it's just streaming online. And that consists of uh, music, uh, some of the different uh, segments, uh, that news segments that we... Uh, that our volunteers record. And also we have old time radio talk shows that uh, are played on KRUV. Things like the Lone Ranger, which oh, is wow. fun to listen to. Nice, I, I have some cassettes of some of those and, <laughs> and they are fun, that's very true. Uh, and how do you get to the radio station? Is it online? It is online. You can go to uh, our website Recorded Recreational Reading for the Blind org, and uh, there's a, a button that says Listen, and you can listen to uh, the KRUV, or you can listen also. We have a podcast 
that we do with all of the different segments of the news that we record in the studio. Okay. Um, Nicole, I'm going to do a real quick uh, look around the place yes. here and you can hang with me and, and answer any questions sure. I've got. But if you think of anything as we're doing this, go ahead and let me know. We want to make sure that everybody knows as much as they can about our RRB. Okay. So as I mentioned, they have three studios. We've got Studio C here in the back and there's room for the interviewer and the interviewee and out here is the producer station for Studio C and then we've got Studio B. I've been in that booth several times. Yes, one of our one of our volunteers, uh, Gary Cohen, he was um, a newscaster, a radio radio caster, and uh, he will on occasion, especially in this in this booth, uh, interview different people uh, from the Sun City, Peoria, uh, different areas. For example, someone from the Posse or uh, someone from the Lions Club, uh, things like that. So that happens in this studio. All right. And again, we've got the producers station here at Studio B. Now, unless we're not, unless we're going to be interrupt them, if we could look no. at Studio A and introduce the volunteers who are here. So Mike Spiger is one of our volunteers who's reading. Angela Musselman and George hey, Harbison, Harbison <laughs> are directing uh, Mike as he's reading his segment. And what is he reading? Southeast Valley News. Okay. And here's a wide shot. All right. Nicole, is there anything else about RRRB that people should know? Well, I think we've covered uh, a lot of material. Uh, we, we really do want to service the community. Um, and, you know, we, we appreciate any feedback uh, if you're a subscriber and you're listening to this, give us a call. We do like feedback about what you like and what you don't like. All right. Thank you all for watching. And uh, remember, Recreational Reading for the Blind, great organization.